up beauties, my name is Shweta Vijay and welcome back to my channel. This has to be the most anticipated, most requested video, literally two years in the making and that is best of minimalist skincare. And I know for the last two years you guys have seen me enjoy their products every now and then when I used to put them in my monthly favorites or in my best of skincare series or on Instagram, Insta stories. I used to get a lot of DMs, a lot of messages saying that please Shweta just you know just kill this one already and give us the best of the best in your opinion. The reason I took such a long time, two years literally, like I mentioned, it's only because I wanted to put these products to a thorough test. Skincare is very subjective. My skin type and skin requirement is very different from yours. I am not a skincare formulator or a dermatologist. I'm just putting it out there. I'm just giving an opinion through my experience. So it just took me a while to accumulate some of my favorites, some which is right in front of me, have been with me for the last two years. Some are reformulated into a better packaging, into a better formulation. And then there are some new items that I've been using for the last uh, few months. And being a content creator, I'm very, very fortunate that the brand is able to send me some of their products before a video goes live so I can put it to a proper test. This video is in partnership with Minimalist. I'm very fortunate to work with this brand once again. So without wasting much time, let's get started with my best of the best from this beautiful skincare brand. When it comes to transparency, where ingredients and percentage is concerned, nothing to beat this brand. I feel they also cater to a wider spectrum of skin types only because there's no essential oils, perfumes, nothing irritating for sensitive skin. And because of that, even teenagers can enjoy the skincare brand. The first beautiful product from this brand that you must have is the Salicylic Acid Plus LHA 02% Cleanser. Perfect for oily, acne-prone skin. This face wash is free from fragrance, silicones, parabens, sulfate, and essential oils. It is boosted with antimicrobial zinc and has several hydrating and soothing ingredients like panthenol, glycerin. This is the reason that this cleanser is very hydrating on the skin. So if you're not a fan of Salicylic Acid Serum and you want a wash-off product, but you want something that is actually going to help with your acne prone skin with your blackheads and whiteheads because salicylic acid is even better for blackheads and whiteheads and you're looking out for a face wash that is gentle enough to help your skin especially when you do a 60 second face wash rule if you're following that rule with a salicylic acid cleanser just make sure that you only follow it three times a week max and only for 60 second or less nothing more than that and just once a day and that to just make sure that it's it's your night skincare routine step. And when you follow a ritual of a thorough cleanse with this cleanser, AM or PM, it really helps your skin. It just goes to show that yes, the serum definitely is more potent, but even a wash out product can help you. And something like this that is non-irritating for sensitive skin. That's why I love this. This is the new packaging. They used to come with a bottle packaging before. This is the tube packaging, which I feel is a little more friendlier to travel with, a less bulkier. And will I be restocking on this? Definitely. Now, if you're a fan of toners, look no further because this brand has got a wonderful toner. I'm talking about the polyhydroxy acid PHA 03%. Guys, you can use this daily because it's a gentle exfoliating toner that has the ability of, you know, tightening your pores, but at the same time, it's very hydrating. This one has got prebiotics as well as probiotics, and this just helps to balance that skin's microbiome. And it also helps in that recovery stage when your skin's barrier is compromised. This one is formulated for all skin type. It's got a very lightweight texture. And when you take it in some cotton pads, a disposable one, you'll notice that it just glides on the skin very, very easily. And the absorption rate is so good out here. It easily absorbs into the skin. And at the same time, it just leaves it very soft and hydrated. And why I feel that this is an ideal toner for sensitive skin and for teenagers is because of the PHA. PHA acts like an AHA. It acts like an exfoliant but because PHA is a humectant it's a lot more hydrating than an AHA. Oh, it is a fantastic toner. This is that show shot winner of a toner that I can with my eyes closed you know recommend it to anybody that's got sensitive skin teenagers I would you know highly recommend this one. This again is my second bottle. It's so calming and it's so soothing for the skin that again skin type no bar age no bar out here. Okay. Now I'm always on the lookout for a very good salicylic acid and that's only because of my skin type. It's acne prone. I'm prone to breakouts. I'm prone to blackheads and whiteheads. And I also have a very oily skin. So I need something to control the oil reduction and reduce that acne. 
and I want a serum that will get straight to work without wasting much time. I found that in the 0-2% salicylic acid serum from The Minimalist. Now this is such a beautiful salicylic acid serum. I don't know, something about this reformulated one is much better than the older one that I have tried. I love that. This one gets straight into work without any hassle. It's a very gentle exfoliating serum that is very hydrating at the same time because the concentration is just right. This one has a high purity salicylic acid which easily penetrates the pore lining and scoops out the dirt and debris and sebum so skin looks really clear and very very soft. It has a bioactive peptide which is oligopeptide 10 and it works so beautifully with salicylic acid and it provides that antimicrobial activity against P. acne bacteria. It also has EGCG which is an active compound found in green tea that is rich in antioxidants so it helps with you know inflammation so any inflammation that happens just before you break out when you feel that redness and that inflamed skin this can help reduce and calm it as well. Texture wise it's very lightweight and not as tacky as many of the serums out there salicylic acid serum and there's also this one ingredient that is there in the serum that makes it different from the various salicylic acid serum you get in the market. This is formulated with white or hound extract which is antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory and it is because of that very ingredient this is perfect for people who are suffering from major blackhead problems very different from their old formulation which was good for my skin but I feel that the reformulated one just kicks it out of the ballpark out here they have really done an incredible job this is again got no fragrance this has got no essential oils it's non comedogenic suited for all skin types but best for oily acne prone skin another serum that I really Really love is a niacinamide serum. Now I know niacinamide as a serum takes a while to warm up to many skin types. Some skin likes it, some skin don't. I also feel with the niacinamide even the lower percentage one can work as beautifully as a high percentage one. It is just a myth that the higher you go the better it is. Even a 5% can work just as well and I've spoken about this 5% niacinamide so many times in the past in my monthly favorites in the best of skincare series and I'm putting it again in the list. This is the 5% face serum and this has got oat extract as well as hyaluronic acid which makes this niacinamide very hydrating and soothing for the skin. Definitely it is a potent vitamin B3 niacinamide but it is so lightweight and it is formulated for dry sensitive skin and because of that oat extract which is anti-inflammatory and skin protecting properties it just helps soothe the skin. Texture wise it is a lot less tackier than the normal niacinamide and a little more thicker I have to say. But what I love about it and what makes it a little different is the way it sits on the skin. It takes a while for the skin to absorb it but it leaves a beautiful glowy kind of a film around your skin. Definitely the skin uh, the absorption rate is great. Your skin will absorb it easily but it takes a while but it packs in that hydration because it's got this powerful potent humectant called hyaluronic acid also in this. Now even a young skin can enjoy this niacinamide because of the lower concentration out here. So I just feel that of all the niacinamide that I have tried and I've tried many you guys, this 5% from Minimalist always stands out for me. There's no essential oils, no perfume, uh, you know it's non comedogenic once again and I just feel that it sits better and you get to see a visible difference after a month and a half because of the low concentration concentration out here you have to be patient once again and then you get to see your skin looking a lot more clearer less congested more uh, what can I say it looks brighter okay I'm not talking about fair but really there's a nice improvement to your complexion so yeah big thumbs up to the 5% niacinamide which in my opinion is 100 times better than the 10% niacinamide this is just a personal preference please keep that in mind the 10% did not suit my skin at all in fact it uh, kind of irritated my skin and it made it a lot more tackier. So I love the texture of the 5% niacinamide and I saw a difference with this one. So if you have skin like mine, then try the 5% niacinamide because I think you are going to love it as much. If you are a beginner when it comes to actives, then just try this 5% one from The Minimalist. Beautiful formulation done here. Now let's talk about the next favorite product of mine and I've done a whole separate video on the sunscreens that Minimalist has. 
Now I know the packaging has changed, it's the tube packaging, which ideally I find it better because you can squeeze every last bit. And this sunscreen is still my favorite. Now this sunscreen does have a lot of mixed reaction. Uh, you know, people who bought this sunscreen either like it or find it difficult to work around with it, but they don't hate it at the same time. And I feel that this sunscreen is perfect for people who have got dry combination normal skin. For oily skin, the SPF 50 version is much much better because it's got so many antioxidants and various other actors in it that controls the oil production which I've explained all in detail in my other dedicated videos. So this SPF 60 with Silly Marine is such a beautiful formulation if you know how to work around with it. With this, they could be product pilling if you are very quick on working things on top of the sunscreen. So I would say that apply your moisturizer, give it some time, then apply your sunscreen, go with the two finger rule, wait for around 15-20 minutes if you can with this particular product and then apply your makeup and then you would see that there is no product pilling. If you live in a very cold country, this is that perfect ideal sunscreen. If you have got dry skin, you're going to love it. But if you live in a hot, humid country, this can make your face a lot more oilier. Both the sunscreen have got broad spectrum protection, plus it's got PA++++, four plus out here. Broad spectrum means that it's going to give you protection against UVA, which is aging, and UVB, which means burning, which is very important for a sunscreen to have that broad spectrum factor. Another thing to keep in mind, like I mentioned in the last video, they've got their SPF certification right out here. They've got three stars in the boost star rating. Then where UV is concerned, they've also done their in vitro analysis under the Colipa guidelines. So everything about this just ticks the box. This beauty of a sunscreen has got very advanced filters. You've been asking me, which is a very good reef safe sunscreen. This is the one which is free from OMC, homosalate and oxybenzone. The filters and the ingredients are safe out here, safe enough for even lactating mothers but I would still ask you to seek professional help. Now when you use the SPF 60 and you apply it to your skin you're going to notice that it takes about a minute for your skin to absorb it and you're going to feel that it's going to leave a white cast because there's a little difficulty in just playing around with the sunscreen but give it about a minute and then you will notice that the skin nicely absorbs it and there is no white cast. So if I could give a small little feedback to the brand, I just wish that they could change the texture of it and make it similar to SPF 50 texture, which is so lightweight. That's the only negative thing about the sunscreen. It's a beautiful sunscreen and it's still my favorite, much more than the SPF 50, which is equally good. But if I had a preference, because skincare is so subjective out here, it just goes to show, isn't it, that even skincare reviews are very subjective uh, I would still choose this one and I continue using this more than the other now I'm sure you guys who have followed me for a long time know that I actually love alpha arbutin a lot more when it comes to seeing visible difference where pigmentation is concerned I feel that an alpha arbutin is such an underrated ingredient that it needs to be spoken a lot more and it needs to be used a lot more. Yes, we've got our vitamin C, we've got a niacinamide, we've got various other ingredients that helps with pigmentation. But if you start to use alpha arbutin, you will see a visible difference and much quicker. Now, I have spoken about this alpha arbutin even in the best of 2021. Now, usually an alpha arbutin is mostly marketed for skin lightening. Now, keep that negative aspect aside. What it really does is if you want a drastic improvement in your pigmentation and you want to improve your complexion, alpha arbutin is very potent and it comes to the rescue. It is a skin tone enhancing serum if I have to put it out there and it is better than beta arbutin. This one helps in the reduction of hyperpigmentation and age spots and I also love the fact that it's got ferulic acid which is a powerful antioxidant and can neutralize several different types of free radicals. It's a beauty of a serum guys again it's got that very ultra light a uh, high absorption rate uh, kind of a texture. It sits very well on the skin. It doesn't provide any irritation. It's very beginner friendly at the same time. It's suitable for all skin type, including people who have severe acne marks, severe hyperpigmentation. Now you can apply this in the morning and evening, but generally I like to apply my alpha arbutin only at night. Uh, but if you do apply this in the morning, then just make sure that you follow it up with the sunscreen. Just read on alpha 
arbutin and its benefits. It's a very naturally occurring antioxidant that is found in bear berry plant and it reduces melanin formation and that is why it is excellent for people who suffer from post-inflammatory pigmentation as well as sunspot and including freckles. Though I don't know why anyone would want to get rid of their beautiful freckles. Be patient with it. Please make sure that you follow it up with something so moisturizing. And when I'm talking about something really moisturizing, I'm talking about our next product which is just chef's kiss. I'm talking about the Sepicam 03% Oat Moisturizer and I've spoken about this many times before. Whole of last year in my monthly favorites best of series I mentioned about this. It is still my favorite. New packaging out here they had a tub kind of a packaging but I prefer this like I said with the tube you can squeeze out every last bit of it you can even cut it and use it it's lightweight but it soothes the skin and it hydrates it softens without any oily shiny heavy residue it's also got polyglutamic acid which is a lot more potent and a lot more hydrating than a hyaluronic acid it's a perfect blend of emollients and occlusives and hydrators that just leaves your skin feeling so calm and so hydrated and you know it just any compromised skin barrier it, it's there to tell you I'm there don't worry I've got your back and especially when you pair this with any actives especially with a retinol or with an alpha arbutin or you know if you're starting off with the salicylic acid serum and you need something that is very calming and it's going to moisturize your skin this moisturizer yes 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 if I have that one moisturizer that is perfect for all skin types age no bar out here and if I can restock again and again and again it would be this one now that I've given you a moisturizer that is perfect for oily skin, let me give you a moisturizer if you suffer from extremely dry, damaged skin. And that is the Marula Moisturizer. A little more thicker, more hydrating. It packs in that hydration, you guys, because this is meant for damaged, dry skin. If you feel that your skin has gone through the worst, you're taking a complete break from everything, from your skincare products, from actives. You just want something extremely hydrating, almost like leaving a film, a mask, you know, to completely soothe your skin. This is the one. This one treats dryness, roughness and flakiness and it's an everyday moisturizing cream with 5% marula oil but it is paired with vitamin F and vitamin E to nourish, moisturize and improve skin softness. It is a heavy cream like I said suitable for dry damage to normal skin types. Oily skin not as much. If you've got acne prone skin also this is a lot heavier for you so you can stay away from this. As you know, marula oil is a high content of omega-9 fatty acid and it has got so much of that antioxidant properties. It's got multiple hydrators, it's got hyaluronic acid, it's got glycerin and that is why it leaves the skin feeling very soft and supple. Because I know I get asked a lot of questions from teenagers, what is that perfect cream for damaged skin? This is the one. So guys, that ends this video. The best of the best, in my opinion, what I love from the skincare brand Minimalist. Let me know what you'd like to see me doing next over here on YouTube. It's great to be back with reviews. And I shall see you in my next and until later. Bye for now. And a big thank you once again to Minimalist for partnering with me for this video. See ya.